It's High Rocks off season. So what am I up to and how can you structure your training to come back fitter, stronger and faster for your next race? What is happening people? Woodsy workout, back in the gym, back on home turf, post Vegas. Uh, and what an amazing event it was. So good seeing you all, everyone there at the top of their game competing for the World Championships. So shout out to you if you were there. And, um, but now here we are, the, the, the season is complete. High Rocks 2021-22 is finito. We are on to uh, the next, but um, you know, if you're, if you're like me, you're thinking, what, what, what is next? So I'm gonna take you through um, what my plans are and also what fitness tests you can do to give you good measurables for high rocks so you can see what you need to improve upon whilst you've got this bit of time before your next race. So firstly, uh, at the end of the month, I'm gonna be competing in the National Fitness Games uh, with a team uh, from Coactive, my gym here. Uh, and for those of you who are unfamiliar, it's a very, it's very similar to a CrossFit competition. It's just um, without some of the more complex gymnastic moves. Um, so if you are from the UK and you are looking for a change of pace, I would definitely recommend checking it out. Uh, in comparison to High Rocks, it's much less endurance and more strength, uh, high intensity. It's uh, there's sort of like four or five, 10 to 20 minute workouts throughout the day. Uh, and that will, one of those will probably include some sort of maximal lift. Um, so just under a month, I don't have a lot of time to build um, strength. Um, but I will be checking in on my big lifts and this is something I think a lot of hybrid athletes should look to do uh, at the start of their next training block. So now is the perfect time to test yourselves and set a few markers for where your fitness is at. So here are the tests that I like to use for high rocks and I've broken them down into three categories. Uh, they are muscular strength, muscular endurance and cardiovascular endurance. Now on the whole, I would lean more towards the cardiovascular endurance, but um, you do need some muscular strength. There is a, a kind of cap that you need to uh, requirement to hit to do uh, high rocks well. So muscular strength, the lifts I like to use are a barbell back squat. The barbell back squat, um, I use that one because it's more common, heavier lift, but I do believe that uh, the front squat has uh, more carryover to the high rocks movements, so like your um, wall balls and your sled pushes. So if you are familiar with the front squat, you can use the front squat, um, and or you could use both. So front squat, back squat, then deadlift. Deadlift is just, um, well, it's a mother lift. It's such a great um, test of your strength, your raw um, strength, so hits the midline. Uh, grip, lower body strength, everything that is uh, going to be needed in high rocks. Uh, then I like to go for a standing overhead press. So this is a good test for um, your core uh, and midline stabilization as well as of course your shoulders and upper chest uh, which will be great for those wobbles. Uh, and then if you are less experienced with those strength exercises then building to a five rep max will be sufficient. Uh, and make sure you definitely check some tips um, and or get a coach to watch you, check your form on those. And then if you are a, a big lifter, then you can take that to a three rep or a one rep max to get a, a really accurate reading, but it's not essential. Then we have muscular endurance. Uh, now these can be more closely related to the Hyrox movements. Um, so I go for Firstly, a uh, number of unbroken wall balls. Use the uh, weight that you race with um, and you can do just as many as you can without pausing. Uh, then I go for a two minute push up test. Now, uh, I use this as it relates to the burpees, but uh, you can do burpees. I just find that um, with the push ups, you can um, keep your form in check and really max out within those two minutes. 
Um, and then finally, I like to do a grip test. So nice and simple. You can use um, kettlebells, just a standing kettlebell hold, use the weight that you use in the race. And then you can probably cap that at five minutes. Um, you're not really gonna be required to grip anything for longer than that um, during the race. So on to cardiovascular testing. We have uh, a 2K row. This is good short sharp test of how long you can hold that high power output. Um, so that's a nasty test if you have done that before. Uh, then a slightly longer, a 20 minute FTP test on a uh, stationary bike, like a watt bike. Um, and this is a good one as it can also take you, you can also take your heart rate whilst um, doing that and get a, an idea of your heart rate zones. Uh, and although the bike isn't in the high rocks, I do find it is a it has a lot of carryover, especially um, through the quads. And also, I, I just I like to use it a lot throughout my um, training in the build up to uh, high rocks. And then last, but obviously not least, you need to do a running test. So if you are unfamiliar with um, distance running, then 5k running test will be sufficient. Uh, but you might want to give it a couple goes to make sure you get your pacing right um, and that will give you a good idea of your, um, your true fitness for running. Um, and then if you are more of a runner, uh, more of a distance runner, then you can take that up to a 10 miler. Um, and that tends to be very similar time frame to what you would do for a high rocks race. Um, using the same energy systems so it really reflect your cardio uh, endurance. Personally, I'm not at that stage where I can use it as a test, um, but I hope to get there. So they are the fitness tests I choose to do for a high rocks athlete. If you are gonna give these a go, please do let me know how you get on, leave a comment, and I'll be sharing some of my results and discussing how to plan a program based upon those. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a race in, the High Rocks race in Birmingham in October, and then London the following month in November, uh, in the hopes that I can qualify for world champs again, uh, but we will see. If you have any further questions about those, uh, post a comment and if you are interested in personalized training programs uh, for High Rock specifically or just for general health and fitness or you have any other kind of specific goal then uh, leave me a message on Instagram at Woodsy Workout. Give us a follow for plenty more tips and tricks uh, on all things health and fitness. Uh, until then, good luck and crack on.